Well, the Deputy Prime Minister also speaking out on the added taxation of gaming houses. Numbered houses and their patrons will be subjected to additional taxes come July. As Jiminita Swain tells us, on the other hand, there is additional aid for the less fortunate in this budget. Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist providing more clarity Thursday about the proposed taxes that will be levied against gaming operators in the 2018-2019 budget. Industry operators commented in a statement that they feel as if they're being singled out and racially profiled. Finance officials are proposing a sliding scale rate applied to taxable revenue of gaming operators that will see a 20% rate on revenue of up to $20 million to as much as a 50% rate on revenue over $100 million. The finance minister considers the proposed taxes fair as he says the wealth has been amassing in the hands of a few. We believe, given the effects that gambling has had on societies, particularly vulnerable family islands, that it is only fair that they pay their fair share and contribute to the social well-being of the Bahamas uh, as much as the Bahamian people have empowered them. We're not targeting them or trying to be or to destroy them, but we, what we are saying is that you have to make a social contribution, particularly to those communities that you are pulling so much from. Now, the Deputy Prime Minister also spoke to how the social services net will be bolstered to assist the most vulnerable. We have put in place measures directly aimed at that group of people who will uh, uh, be most affected by this, this, this increase. In addition to that, we have also increased the social services budget by almost $4 million to try and pick up some of the slack for those who may be able, may find themselves still in a difficult and vulnerable position. Other financial measures to be implemented in the new fiscal year include waiving VAT on electricity bills under $100 and water bills at or under $50. The catastrophic health care will address the, the, the critical needs uh, of persons who find themselves in a situation uh, where they are unable to afford uh, um, the care that they need, they, they need particularly life-saving care, um, and, the, and, the, uh, and it will reduce that burden and will allow them to, to save their dignity uh, without going um, broke. And while VAT has been eliminated on medication, the finance minister does not expect increases in health care costs. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.